Hi, this is Paul Tyler, and welcome to a, another episode of That Annuity Show. And uh, uh, Mark Ramsey, good to see you. As always, great being here. As always. Yeah, and uh, you know, every once in a while, you know, we, we see breaking news, and we say, "Wow, look at this! Our our the, our universes are colliding." And um, in um, uh, AM Best News actually came across, uh, recently released an article entitled, Annuity Providers See Growth Opportunity in U.S. Retirement Plan Changes. We've been talking about the SECURE Act. We've been talking about the opportunity in in, uh, in, in some of the, the institutional retirement plans. And who's quoted? But we have a picture of Bruno Karin. Bruno, welcome to our show. Thank you. Great to be back here. Yeah. No, lovely. And... Uh, Martin Powell uh, from CUNY Mutual, who is head of the annuity distribution. Martin, we got you on as well. Martin, welcome. Good to be back. Good seeing everybody. Yeah, yeah, glad to have you. So two two regular uh, guests now. Martin, you're now regular on the show. Um, we'll, we'll put that in our show notes. Um, but uh, uh, real interesting opportunity. We thought it was timely to talk about not only, you know, how big is this market going, how quick is it going to change, and, and just generally – you know, where's the annuity industry going to head in the next, you know, couple of quarters, given all the turmoil? Um, so, um, Ramsey, I'll kind of have you lead off. This is uh, an important area for you and a lot of focus. Sure. Um, where should we start? So, I think maybe the the biggest potential opportunity in the retirement income space is with 401k plans, so in-plan annuities. And it's an area that's been underdeveloped for a variety of reasons. Uh, Part of that uh, hopefully has been cured by the advent of the SECURE Act, but there's still a whole lot more work to do in the space. And uh, so I was fascinated when I saw this article that featured uh, Bruno and Martin talking about what the potential is there. I think that's – I think it is – I think is is the one place that might help sort of save the retirement income problem that we have, you know, across the broadest possible audience. So – uh, from my perspective, this is this is this may be the mo- most important mission of the insurance industry. So, Martin and Bruno, you guys are on the front lines, uh, and you know, you know, Martin, you know, you are you run annuity distribution, so you you know very much what's what's uh, you know what's on the horizon for CUNA. Bruno, you have a fantastic perspective across the industry in your role at AM Best. So, we're just we're really looking forward to hearing from both of you. One, your perspectives on what you're seeing, and two, your perspective on where you think you'd like to see you'd like to think, see things go. So, so Martin, why don't we start with you? And, and Martin, even though you were just on our last show, <laughs> please reintroduce yourself a little bit because we we're, we have the, the benefit of doing back-to-back recordings today, which has been great. Well, thanks, thanks for having me back. And it's Martin mm-hmm. Powell. I'm responsible for annuity distribution for Community Community Mutual Group. Uh, historically, we've been focused just on credit unions. Now we're, we're outside with independent and bank broker dealers selling our annuity products, and uh, we're growing to uh, to be a top 20 annuity distributor in the country. And we're really bullish on the annuity market because it really drives at our mission to help people get access to a brighter financial future. And we, we really see that this opportunity to continue to grow, not only through financial advisors, because most annuities today are sold through a financial advisor, um, sitting face to face with somebody who's who's near retirement or in retirement, talking about income protection. And as all of us on this call know, that annuity is the only product in the world that provides a personal pension and the best longevity insurance you can um, get. But now introducing it to a, a 401k plan is, is just powerful, especially if you can, you know, similar to what they do now in 401k plans, they you have to opt out versus opt in. And we've seen the numbers change dramatically with 401k. Um, same thing here where you, they can opt, they need to opt out potentially of getting an annuity because once again, people need this product in their portfolio, and it's going to raise the awareness. It's going to get more people educated on protecting um, their income stream and pro- protecting against longevity. So 
I think it's really exciting to, to see the developments and for us as a company to work on our strategy to, to ultimately at some point in time enter this space as well to get not just with the financial advisors but to ultimately get with the plan sponsors and the ultimate employees get an opportunity to protect their um, retirement. And, and, and Bruno Ramsey said, I, I, I love his declaration, the biggest opportunity <laughs> that the annuity industry faces in, in the next five to ten years. True or false? True. Absolutely true. <laughs> and, uh, you know, definitely echoing uh, Ramsey and, and Martin's comments uh, j- just earlier. And uh, it, it's it, it's nice for, for us as, as, as rating analysts. I mean, obviously, the... the the biggest product we offer at AMBES are, is our ratings, um, but but at the same time, it is important for us to to uh, you know to, to always get back to fundamentals, and you know we, we always we're always in constant con- conversations with our, our, our colleagues on the on the P and C side, and you know the, this whole concept of risk pooling is so fundamental, and the you know most people I know. Uh, will earn more in a year than the value of their car, and that that's just you know uh, you know uh, people who make fifty thousand dollars will most likely have a car that's worth a little less than that, uh, hundred thousand dollars, two hundred thousand dollars, whatever your number is, um, and yet people risk pool the risk of uh, damaging their car. If their car, you know, uh, they have an accident, they have, uh, you know, th- they risk pool that that risk through car insurance, and you know, think about earnings. Wouldn't it make sense to risk pool va- the value of earnings? You know, if you outlive your your exp- your life expectancy by one year, two years, a decade, two decades. Uh, doesn't it make sense to have that type of risk pooling, you know, w- within your, your your retirement planning? Uh, and I think the answer is yes. I think, uh, you know, to, to go back to your question, uh, true, absolutely true. I think it's a huge opportunity the uh, uh, the, uh, the the insurance industry has, you know, at, at, the, at the forefront. And there's been a lot of improvement. There's been a lot of development, as as you mentioned. So I think it's very, it's a very, very exciting time for uh, for lifetime income. Should should we revisit this this idea of opt in versus opt out? Because I think it's a sort of very important linchpin in, in in whether or not this works. So so Martin, you mentioned uh, opt out as being part of the future. Um, how important do you think that is to the success of of in plan annuities? Like if 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 consumers can simply elect, or, or have to elect, in order to get guaranteed income, um, what kind of what kind of take rates would you expect? I don't know, more orders of magnitude. Not, I'm not looking for specific statistics, but how much of a difference do you think it makes? You know, based on your your years of experience, it, it makes a tremendous difference. That if people have to opt out and go out of their way. They're going to be so much more successful of, of saving in their 401k plan mm. and taking advantage of the benefits of a 401k. Mm. And the same thing here. Um, they need to ensure their income for a life. And great analogy about car insurance, right? There's no opt out or opt in based on your financial. I mean, many people are financially. They, they, they have to get car insurance, right? It's not, you can't go down to a state. So it's just, it's it's so important that, you know, the, the power of insurance is, is pooling, pooling your risk. And you, you got to educate people on that. So I op, opted out to me is, is the game changer here. And it really solves, so, it solves the, 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 um, the pension crisis in this country. Yeah. So I, I always like to ask the question to people. So is Social Security, is it opt-in or opt-out? <laughs> it's, it's actually just opt. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you're, 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 you're in, right? Not optional. You're in. Right? 
uh, the, 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 fine, the fine pension benefit plans when they existed, like, you know, optional, yay or nay? Nay, right? right? Yeah. So arguably, those are the two most successful, at least two of the most successful retirement income uh, sort of uh, platforms, right? So DB plans obviously are being phased out, but they have been successful in their lifetime. They have successfully achieved what they're supposed to do as a social security. So they, they, what they all have in common is, common is that they're, they're mandatory. And so, you know, to your point, Martin, it's hard to see how, how in-plan annuities are going to be successful. I think it's either going to be binary. Either they fail completely or they're going to be very successful, right? And, and, I, and it's probably because they will, they will, for precisely this reason that you've highlighted, that they will be uh, not optional. Well, l- l- let's play it forward, Ramsey. Mm-hmm. Let's assume a world where it, it is there, there's it's opt out or it's you have no choice. Mm-hmm. Um, let's say let's say, let's say it's, it mirrors the four hundred and one k. It's it's a, it's an opt out type situation. I don't know, Mar- Martin Brune, Mark. I, what does this do for the individual advisor? Help hurt um, the uh, the sale of individual annuities? Uh, I, I, I personally have a long all time. All else being yeah. equal, regardless of, of the shape or form of um, you know, that relationship, the conversation, whatever it is, people will need some sort of advice. People will need uh, will, will, will need uh, advice in one way or, or another. Now, this may be you know this may challenge uh, you know the, the the current environment. That's uh, it may or may it may not. It remains to be seen, uh, but but that 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 advice, that thinking, that shopping. I mean, it, it, you know, uh, there, there's a lot of value added there to to have that, that that knowledge. And the average person doesn't necessarily have that um, you know that, uh, that 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 knowledge. And that goes back to your your original you know discussion on opt in, opt out. Uh, you know, I always think of myself buying things where I'm not. I'm, you know, I, I'm not an expert. It's it's not something I, I think about uh, every day, and that default option is, is very um, is, is very important, and it, it really uh, you know it really it, it guides without even knowing. Um, but at the end of the day, that that, that knowledge uh, is, uh, is 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 key. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I think the key. Yeah, I think more. the key is really the educational process going into it. Because even if you think about outside of the qualified plan marketplace, and look at look at the the hurdle with advisors in terms of changing the mindset from an accumulation focused strategy to a distribution focused strategy, and, and and that challenge still ongoing in terms of you know how to how to put that right structure in place, and then you bring it now to the consumer level that has always looked at four hundred one k plans as purely an accumulation strategy. I think the key is really going to be number one, educating up front, making sure um, that they that they understand the value behind that. Um, and to Ramsey's point, that the successful programs that are, you know, not opt in and guaranteed, you know, have been really the the, the foot trolls of of successful retirement over the years. Um, I think the other interesting challenge is. And it's always been interesting to me to, to see the disconnect that people have as it relates to what the equitable income, lifetime income is from an accumulated asset. And I think it's really important to make sure that people understand going into it, the value of that in terms of what this projection can generate going down the road. And the key is going to be that point of, of education up front, I think. Yeah, Mar- Martin, I got a friend, a uh, call from a friend of mine who actually retired from MetLife and said, oh, Paul. Uh, he actually made it. He was on the defined benefit, <laughs> and he got his pension. He said, "Oh, I just got this form telling me how much money I'm going to this converts into." What are, are you seeing? Any advisors taking advantage of this as an opportunity to go out and talk to people about annuities? I, I have not had any opportunity or, or been told by any advisor about them um, taking the opportunity to go out. But when you think about you know, 10 million households control probably 90 plus percent of the wealth in this country, right? And that's primarily where financial advisors are correct. I mean, there's 130 million households in this country. So just think now if they have an annuity for more people have 401ks because we're, we're making them opt out. 
just think the need for the advice when now you're not working anymore and you've got to climb down the mountain with your accumulation. It's just going to raise the tide and need for advice. So I, I just, it's, it's just exciting that it's going to, it's going to raise the need for advice. Okay, well, one of my first jobs was a management consultant. So, Bruno, I'm very good at slides. <laughs> Martin, I'm really good at spreadsheets. Make him say anything, right? So, the article says <laughs> $7.3 trillion are sitting there in the 401k market. Martin, I've got a plan to get you to, I'm going to get 2% of that market <laughs> for your company. Uh, is this an opportunity when you when you size this thing out? Is this a, a cr crawl, walk, or, or a run imperative for most uh, annuity companies today? You know, not not speaking for Cuna, but speaking for you know your, your the colleagues your colleagues across the uh, across the country. I, I think it's an initial crawl for us, and, and it's probably part of our our DNA. To get, it, to get it right, you know, just because we're in the, in the business of, of risk. So I think it'll be a crawl, then an acceleration. And, and if you just think about products, like somebody's got to go take the risk and they, they see the success, we all come in and, and, and develop and innovate and bring products. And, and then finally it becomes a market. And we can start innovating back and forth between the companies from a competitive perspective. So. That's what I see happening here. Ramsey, should it be a, a really fast crawl? Um, I I think it should be, but I'm I'm biased. Uh, I think I think there will be people that are sort of leaders, and there'll be people that are that are fast followers, and people that are, that are that are happy coming sort of further back. And everybody has their own you know reasons for that. Uh, I. I, I I do think that we just need to make sure that we have some leaders, some folks that are, that are getting, the, uh, getting the ball rolling. It's, a, it's actually a complicated business. It's way more than just a product. Because as soon as you bring it into a 401k, you say, all right, well, if I bring it into a 401k, probably it's not standalone. Probably it's it's embedded in a, in a target date fund. So all the, you know, all the products that have been offered so far, including the one, Martin, that you mentioned, Usually, are it's a it's a guaranteed income product or annuity embedded in a target date fund. So there's a structure around that. There's an entire protocol with the way that the various members of the 401k ecosystem have to communicate with each other. So record keepers, in this case a carrier, an asset manager, there's probably a fiduciary or two involved. So it's it's actually it's actually much more than a product sale. It is a platform sale. And that, and so, from my perspective, is that everybody should be figuring out the platform part now, because the product part's the easy part. Yeah, but, pl you, you, platform's really interesting, Ramsey, uh, Bruno. You know, how many hundreds of, of successful annuity companies are there today? Uh, because you know, we we sell through thousands of advisors, right? Hundreds of different distribution channels. Um, how many how many players do you think can occupy and actually be successful in space? Is it Five or ten? Is it twenty? Is it a hunt? You know, is there a limit? I mean, uh, the, the, the markets will, will dictate those the, those limits. I, I think there's room for uh, for a lot. You, you, you mentioned it, that seven point three trillion dollars. There, there's room out there for uh, you know for, for, for many players and, and for uh, for some competition for an actual market. Um, to, to, to Ramsey's point. Um, Everything in, in retirement planning has to be part of a, of a comprehensive plan, and it, it's it's not just about you know market risk, longevity risk, inflation risk. It's about all of the above, and um, you know I, I think that you know some of those risks and, and some of those uh, considerations have been that it have been studied, have you know, and, and are available you know to, to the consumers. Um, it's 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 that. Part on, on on lifetime income uh, that I believe is lacking currently. Is it going to be a fast crawl? Um, we, we certainly can hope for it, and uh, but 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 I think it's it, it's on it's on all of us to, to make sure that you know a crisis doesn't happen in 
20 years where, you know, all, all, all of a sudden, you know, people just keep on waking up in the morning very old and you know, just ran out of money. Uh, we don't need to wait for that to happen. We can act. Um, and I, I think we, we can do that as a as an industry. Um, but um, exciting times, to say the least. Yeah. Well, listen, we're, we're near the end of our time. Mark, final last questions, thoughts on the topic? Yeah, I guess um, two thoughts. Number one, Bruno, have you seen any um, kind of modeling, like allocation modeling um, programs out there that, that that individuals can work with? And second, do you think that we'll see an evolution um, similar to what we have on the individual annuity side with income riders kind of being the first um, leg of this, but then all, all of a sudden you see care benefits coming onto it and death benefits coming onto it? you think we'll see a similar evolution from that standpoint? Uh on your first question, uh, yes, there are like th those, those tools out there, uh, you know, and, and I, I think uh, I, I think of, of, of those tools as not, not necessarily a, a silver bullet, but it, it is something that really helps you, uh, you know, develop a comprehensive plan, uh, ask the right questions, uh, make sure that as a consumer uh, you don't get blindsided by something you haven't thought about. So. I, I definitely encourage uh, you know everyone to, to use those tools and uh, some of the guests that you've had on the, on, on the show have have de developed their, their own and you know with uh, with, 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 with multiple um, uh, other other peers so uh, yes they're out there and yes I believe there's going to be uh, more uh, more more coming and yes they are um, they are very helpful. Uh, on your, on, on, you know, on, on your, uh, on your second question, um, uh, yes, I, 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 I uh, you know, I, I do believe there's, uh, there, there is capacity there. Um, I, I do believe that market is going to, to, to grow and, uh, and evolve. Uh, you know, there, there, there's appetite on, uh, on, on both sides. You know, there, there is appetite for, for capital intensive business. Uh, there is all of those uh, fixed income assets that are uh, that are ready to be uh, to, to be deployed. Um, so, so I think uh, er everything is is out there for um, for, uh, for, for for success. Great, thank you, Ramsey. Uh, so yeah, I uh, I'll say it again. I think this is the I think this is the biggest opportunity that we have right now. Uh, I think it is. Uh, an opportunity for the industry, I think, is an opportunity for America, most importantly, right? And uh, I, I, I we just we just need people to sort of put themselves out there and try and make it work. There are already, by our count, by our team's count, eight or nine offerings, right, up up and running. Um, some have made announcements, but uh, not clear that products have been filed yet. It's still early days. It's still very early days, and I think that. Uh, you know, people that jump out in front and learn how to navigate what is a very, very different distribution channel early um, will put themselves in a position to succeed in a market, to Bruno's point, that is big enough for a lot of players. Yeah. Well, this is great. Uh, Martin, you know, listen, thanks for joining us, and thanks for sharing your perspective. If people want to get in touch with you, what, what's the best way for, for people to uh, reach out to you? You can reach me at martin.powell at cunymutual.com. Excellent. All right. Uh, Mark, Bruno. great to have you back again. Great yeah, to be back. twice, double trouble. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thanks, and, and and Bruno, for you, best best way to reach uh, reach you. Uh, same uh, email's good. LinkedIn's good. Um, uh, so they're, they're uh, you know Bruno back here at AMS plus the, uh, the, the the LinkedIn's always there. Um, anytime. Okay, great, and we'll also put a, a a link to your book again. Everybody should buy the book and and read it. Uh, if they uh, want to understand how this market works and what the opportunities are. Thanks so much, Martin, Bruno. Thanks, everybody. Thanks to our listeners. And uh, join us again next week for another episode of That Annuity Show. Thank you.